Yes, yes. He's expecting your call. Could you hold on, please? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and also I would like to let you know that um, Mr. Anthony Eterno, our economic counselor from Embassy Caracas, will join in on the call as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hi. Hello, yes. Uh, Mr. Abrams? No, we're, he's uh, being conferenced in. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Is everyone on? Hello? Yes, this is Anthony. Is uh, Hi, this is Elliot Abrams. Uh, Mr. Evans, hi. This is uh, this is Mr. Maurer. Ah, well, good. Good. I guess it's good afternoon. How are you? Good. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Nice to hear you. How are you there? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're expecting some snow, but so far so good. Thank you for your time. I would like to discuss with you our cooperation in the financial sphere uh, and particularly on the Venezuela issue. And I think we could be, um, uh, we can help each other and uh, we have, uh, and especially with things uh, happened recently in Venezuela. Yes. Um, you know that um, we have a 25B certificate signed <coughs> January 25th by Secretary of State Pompeo certifying that interim President Guaido is in control of uh, the account of the government of Venezuela or the Central Bank of Venezuela at the Federal Reserve Bank in New York and other yeah. banks in the U.S. Um, it, in that sense, they're analogous to the oil-related sanctions, just trying to preserve assets. And we're trying, um, working with a number of European governments, to cut off the ability of the Maduro regime uh, essentially to steal these assets. And we know that um, they have been trying to liquidate accounts. Yeah. Uh, we're talking in total of billions of dollars of uh, assets and yeah. transfer them to uh, places where they, they will have control and where uh, much of it, I think, will disappear. So from our point of view, we wanted just to assure that you were aware of all this and that uh, you would be applying a very high level of scrutiny to Venezuelan uh, government or central bank accounts so that the assets cannot be uh, reached and taken away. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, I am aware about that. And uh, so I would like to let you know that uh, we have uh, uh, recently our attorney general has uh, opened a case on, on the investigation of corruption in Venezuela. So we are closely monitoring possible financial re irregularities. So, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and you know, in our banks, there are accounts of PDVSA. And I know that in the, uh, in the US, uh, their assets of uh, this company are now frozen. So, uh, in in Switzerland, uh, they have accounts in several large banks. So, what is the what is the status of those accounts now? The PDVSA accounts, any government accounts of Venezuela, central bank accounts of Venezuela. What is the uh, status of Switzerland today? So, um, um, they have a very large amounts. So. They keep their money in uh, several large banks in our country. For example, Limpopo, Limpopo Bank. Part of the money came from Russia hmm. under under contracts for oil product, production. So, however, we have not uh, found any violations in this yet. So everything is clean. Uh, but uh, I, I, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, so what do you think should, we, should be done in this case? So I think uh, everything should be frozen. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely frozen, because um, just to make yeah. sure that they, that they stay where they are. So that, that's our view. I have the same opinion, but you know, we need to have a, a serious ground uh, to do that. So I know, I know that Russia has invested billions in the Maduro regime, so especially in the oil and gas sector. So that's a problem because well, we have some, some pressure. Yes, no doubt. You've got, we have now, I think the number is 52 
governments, including 24 of the 28 in the EU, that recognized Guaido as the legitimate president of Venezuela. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what the Swiss government has done or if it has made any statement in this respect. But from our viewpoint, and that of 50 other governments, uh, the Maduro regime at this point is an illegitimate regime, and it has no right to dispose of or to move those assets. And there is the risk for any Swiss bank that hands those assets over. um, There is the risk of future litigation from Mm -hmm. the the future uh, legitimate government of, of Venezuela that the bank allowed those assets to be, in essence, stolen. Uh, yeah. So, yes, we we can do the same uh, and we can freeze uh, assets, but uh, but we don't know on which ground. Maybe you can tell us. And there is another point. We know that Mr. Guaido took the power of the president until February 23. So after 23, they'll be over as I know, and if we that, recognize that, him... Right, let me interrupt to say that that is not... Um, <clears throat> that, that's a very interesting question, actually, which we also ask. And the National Assembly, which all of these uh, Western governments recognize as the only legitimate elected body in Venezuela, has actually passed a resolution saying that the 30 days will not begin until Maduro is out. Um, and and has stated that uh, Guaido would remain the interim president. We can uh, get you um, a copy of that uh, resolution on the part of the Venezuelan National Assembly. Mm-hmm. Um, that's uh, Anthony. Can you take note of that? Yep, mm-hmm. just did. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah, and uh, just w- I want to yeah. add one small thing, and this also comes without litigation. Uh, it also comes with high reputational risk for banks uh, when they're dealing with the Maduro regime. Just want to throw that out there. Okay, I understand it. What do you? I mean, what would you? You see what we've done. I mean, with the with the official notice to the Fed in New York and other American banks. Um, what do you need? Because I think the freezing. There's a lot of there. A lot of countries have frozen the accounts in an effort to prevent the theft of assets. Well, maybe something like a statement of the, of the president, uh, Trump, maybe mm-hmm. about that. Maybe maybe uh, his statement and um, will we help can us. Do that. We, can, we can do that, and we can also get you the actual Fed, the 25B notice to the Fed, mm-hmm. the New York mm-hmm. Fed. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. And you, you know, uh, I worry. What, what, what I worry about. So, if uh, Mr. Guaido will lose the war uh, with Maduro, and uh, we could be look like fools. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I, I guess what I'd say is this: um, there are a number of governments that have not yet uh, made this decision. Uh, in the Organization of American States, for example, we have not yet done the credentials fight that we will do. Um, same in the UN. Um, but what what certainly I would say the Swiss government can take note of is that this is a dispute. Uh, with most most uh, Western governments having taken a side in this dispute, and if there is a dispute, then it would seem that the uh, the better wisdom would be to freeze the accounts. Uh, by the way, um, uh, I'm, I worry about uh, um, Russian uh, participation in this case. You know that uh, they have uh, some pressure on us. By the way, uh, you are giving the money. You, uh, uh, they were they concerned uh, about money of uh, Maduro, and uh, they worry that you will. Um, give that money to uh, Mr. Guaido, their personal right, accounts. Right, right. Well, we will, be, we will be talking, we have been talking to them, but we'll be talking to them again uh, this week and in coming weeks about this. Uh, yes. Also, I want to share some information that uh, will be definitely important to you. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, 
we found the personal accounts of the Venezuela Venezuelan uh, leadership. Uh, so it is very it's highly likely that uh, the family of Mr. Maduro and his inner circle, including the military elite, um, in recent years, uh, Maduro's accounts have uh, received large amounts of money from Russia, and uh, now they send. Uh, a big, uh, uh, big, big tr trench uh, to our uh, banks, and uh, uh, so um, uh, there is another aspect in our banks. There are secret accounts of Mr. Uh, Quevedo, and if we close them, we'll uh, we will have problems with the OPEC. Tell me, um, uh, these accounts now. It's really not possible that these, the monies in these accounts are, are gotten legally. I mean, this, you know, the president of a country cannot have hundreds of millions of dollars in a personal account, nor can all. Not not money. his personal, not his personal account, but uh, it's uh, money of uh, his inner circle. Right, right, and we've we've actually found some accounts like that in the U.S. Mm -hmm. In, mm -hmm. in the past months and years, and we've we've been able to uh, to freeze them. What is what uh, when you find these accounts, and there is an obvious reason to believe that that the money has is a product of illegal activities in this yeah. case, corruption. What does Swiss law require you to do? We will absolutely. We are sure that we will uh, freeze that. Uh huh. Of course, um, and and then I guess there's a long process, legal yeah, process to determine. I think uh, I, I let me let me see. It depends on card. It depends on on the concrete case. Right, right. But um, for those accounts that you have mentioned that you've identified as members of the of the inner circle. You are going to freeze those. Yes, if we will find the real reason. Okay. Yeah, but uh, if you will provide us all, all data, so we will do, we will freeze and. Uh, okay. Say. What does that mean when you when you say uh, what kind of information do you want? I mean, it's to if if that Names if that um, if insiders? that yeah yeah if that uh, if that uh, money uh, where. Uh, uh, created by uh, by crime or with another uh, with another yeah. Uh, information. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of it it's kind of obvious in this sense. If you are a public servant in Venezuela, there's no possible legal way that you could have acquired mm -hmm. these amounts of money. Anyway, we will we will get on this as well. Um, what is the best way to be in contact with you? Is I think the best is it email. What I think the best way is uh, be in touch with your assistant. Uh, I also think that maybe I need to uh, may, uh, make a uh, phone call with uh, Mr. Guaido and discuss uh, some problems with him. That's a very good idea. Um, now there's a there. You will need a translator, I think. Okay. Because he he only speaks Spanish. It's not a problem. We have a lot of interpreters. So, uh, but I do. Uh, I mean, he has spoken to uh, many uh, European heads of government, and I'm sure that uh, he would be happy to have this conversation about safeguarding assets. Okay, and so you have a uh, you are in touch with him. Yes. Okay. Okay. And also, I really uh, would like to tell you, I really uh, concern about the situation in Venezuela, and I hope that military action in the country will not begin. You know, I have uh, my opinion. If uh, military operations uh, will start, so uh, if uh, it it would suddenly will happen, uh, the price of oil will go up. So that will help Putin. <laughs> Ah, well, yes, P help Putin and help Iran. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can give you my email, or is there an email okay. I can have for you? Okay. Please. My email is mm -hmm. at state.gov, G-O-V. Okay. By the way, I recently watched a video of your wonderful speech in Congress. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. But who is, but who is uh, that strange woman who accused you of some crimes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, think I don't think an interesting day. I don't think she's very helpful. <laughs> maybe no. maybe Minnesota has a um, really um, hard climate, so uh, maybe that blow her uh, <laughs> w w wind blow her whole head off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, yeah, uh, Minnesota has a uh, there is a tradition of being extremely. Uh, friendly and nice. It's called Minnesota Nice. And she is uh, tr apparently trying to destroy this image. <laughs> okay. Well, look, thank, thank you very much. I appreciate the, that remark. I appreciate, I appreciate too. your time this morning. We have yeah. some materials we will get to you, and uh -huh. uh, we'll do our homework. Thank you. Okay, let's be in touch. I will send you a testing thank you. Thank, you, Mark. Thank, thank you. you. Bye -bye. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hello? Yes, this is Elliot Abrams. This is uh, Mr. Maurer. How was the UN meeting? <laughs> uh, it was fun. I mean, it. Uh, the highlight was a 35-minute speech by the Venezuelan regime representative, uh, which was about 30 minutes longer than anyone else spoke. Yes, I saw that. Uh, so do you, do, you, do you need uh, UN assistance from Switzerland on this issue? Um, well, we will have, we will actually vote, the Security Council will vote tomorrow. Okay. Um, and we have, uh, we will have nine votes. So, um, uh, we will get the requisite number of votes. I suppose the Russians will veto. Yeah. Uh, we are always interested in seeing whether the Chinese abstain or veto. Yeah. Thus far... They have gone along with the Russians in vetoing, but their language is much more restrained, very different, very Absolutely. very uh, businesslike. Yeah, I want to say that our investigation is almost complete, so it will be over by the end of the uh, of this week. Uh huh. And we have blocked personal accounts of uh, the of the Maduro inner circle, where were uh, ministers uh, of his government and the military and others so but you know th uh, who had the most money his wife no. his wife <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, almost 50 million euros really <laughs> you can imagine after blocking our office she called and uh, was hysterical with uh, with uh, that I have I've never heard anything like it huh totally blocked on the personal accounts of about 400 million euros. We are ready to. Uh, we are ready next week to meet with the representatives of the president of uh, President Guaido, and send them uh, to the accounts of in individuals. So uh, the accounts of the companies we will uh, be able to pass a little later. Individuals come first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, their procedure are longer than usually, so we are working to speed up uh, this process. Um. When you said earlier that you had the investigation would be completed, that does include the corporate accounts as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you know okay. that we are uh, already frozen uh, uh, more than uh, 20 accounts of uh, Maduro's uh, inner circle. Um, tell me, I if you would, about the um, confidentiality questions here. For example, um, if you meet next week with representatives mm -hmm. of the of Guaido in the National Assembly and you say to them we have blocked this account or that account um, are they then free to um, not only to it to um, access the account but are they free to announce things yeah of course uh, we are we're in touch with the uh with uh, President Guaido, so we will uh, we can do it uh, together. Uh, I think. Okay, I mean, I, I can send you a list of person uh, who were blocked and uh, which accounts uh, were frozen, so we can public it. Really? Yes. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't realize that. Okay. I mean that you know. I th th that's obviously a great. Yes. Frankly, it's a great help to the to Guaido. I talked to him. I liked him. He's a good uh, guy, and uh, he does the right thing. But uh, he's—I think—he's still a young person. <laughs> yes. He, 
he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't have as much experience as you and me. This is true. He's 35. Yes, I know. But the, this guy needs to uh, guide and uh, advise how to do it better. So I hope you can handle it. Yes, we are one of the things that we are suggesting to them and so far they have taken the advice is to freeze accounts. For example, here in the United States, the Venezuelan government accounts as of January, that is the embassy mm -hmm. accounts mm -hmm. and the embassy to the UN and the OAS altogether had only about $4 million. I think on Friday or early next week we will can tell the press all about our investigation. We are in contact Great. with, with yes. Ambassador uh, Wekio. Yes. Yes. Also, I... Uh, All right. I will actually... Um, I need to call him anyway, but I will be in touch with him today. Yeah. Okay. And we can talk about some of this. Also, I wanted to ask you, uh, uh, what are your thoughts about possible military aid to the President of Guaido? President Guaido. You know, uh, uh, we're, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Um, I think it's, unless, it's right. Uh, unless the, the regime does something completely crazy like yeah. you know attacking the US embassy yeah I know uh, uh, but um, our information suggests mm -hmm. that people in the regime and in the military are actually nervous about mm -hmm. a US invasion and we think it is useful to keep them nervous mm -hmm. um, which is one reason that we will not say publicly no 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 this will never happen mm -hmm. When I give private briefings to members of Congress, mm -hmm. this is exactly what I say to them. Mm -hmm. We are not trying to make you in Congress nervous. Mm -hmm. We are trying to make the Venezuelan military nervous, and we think that it is a mistake tactically to give them endless reassurances that there will never be American military action. Yeah. But I can tell you, this is not what we're doing. What we're doing is what you see, mm -hmm. uh, financial pressure, economic pressure, diplomatic so, pressure, yeah, political pressure. I agree pressure. with you. We could support you on uh, that, at least through private, uh, if you will have some, uh, if you will need our support, at least uh, we can uh, help you with our private military companies uh, that's located, ah. registered in Switzerland, if you will need them. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, registered uh, companies, military companies, so we can handle it. All right. Um, well, I thank you. I thank you very much for this conversation. Yeah. Um, I look forward to seeing what um, what comes out publicly, whether it's Friday or Monday. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perhaps we will be in touch again after that, uh, after it comes out, and if we have additional names for you. Yes, and I wanted to add that during the investigation, we uh, it was revealed very important points about Russia, about large companies and businessmen. Uh, that are on mm. the sanction list of uh, President Trump and uh, the, Uni the United States Congress. Also, uh, there were also large businessmen from Putin's clan. Um, we are very interested in uh, these people. Uh, Sechin is another one we're very interested in. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the guy from Rosneft? Yes, of course. Of course, Mr. Se Sechin. Sechin. Yes. Right. So, thank you for this conversation. Let's be in touch, and uh, could you send me uh, all details? Yes, very good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. That's very good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. That's